Hi, I'm Scott Flowers with Cloud Ninjas. Today we're here to continue our series on the Dell PowerEdge R740 XD server. In this video, we're going to specifically focus on network cards. Let's get going. Well, hey, thanks for stopping by today to learn a little bit more about the Dell PowerEdge R740 XD server. Do us a favor, find anything that helps you in this video. Click that like and smash that subscribe. All right, let's hop in. Uh, this video is specifically dedicated to network cards. So what we're gonna do in this video, we're gonna first off show you the two types of cards. We're gonna show you the different interfaces, the different speeds. Then we're gonna physically install both types of cards into this 740XD. And then at the end, we're gonna put a list up that's not all inclusive, but it has a ton of different cards uh, that are compatible with your 740XD. And if there's something that you're using at home that's a different card that's not on our list, hey, drop a comment down below. I'm sure people People will like it, uh, but there are just so many cards out there you can't list everything, right? So let's start with the different types of cards. You have your network daughter card, also known as an NDC, and then you have your PCIe card. Both are great types. Personally, we always recommend the network daughter card, especially if you're only putting in one card as a whole. The reason being that the network daughter card, we'll show you in a minute when we actually do the install, has a carved out slot in the back that can only be used for the network daughter card, so you might as well use it um, as a whole. Whereas the uh, PCIe is gonna take up one of your PCIe slots, and you might wanna use it for something different, or you might wanna add in a bunch of network cards as a whole, so you wanna use, all, use everything, the network daughter cards and all the PCIe slots for the network cards, which is something that we can do if you go to our website and you want to custom build your 740XD, we can definitely accommodate and throw in a ton of network cards for you. So again, there's just a ton of different options and uh, it really goes to you know what interface do you really want. So uh, we always start with the network daughter card and then add in PCIe. So what are the different types of interfaces? Well, you have RJ45, which is another way of saying ethernet. You have SFP, SFP+, SFP28, QSFP and QSFP56. So those are the different types of interfaces. Well, what about the speeds? Well, the different types of speeds that are offered, you have one gigabit, eight gigabit, 10 gigabit, 16 gigabit, 25, 32, 40, or wait for it, all the way up to 100. So those are the uh, the different options that you have as far as speeds. Well, all right, now that we know a little bit more about the uh, different types, the uh, different interfaces, the speeds, let's go ahead and actually install them. But before we do, I'm gonna grab my ESD gear and be right back. All right, now that I have my ESD gear on, let's go ahead and get the install started. So I laid out our PCIe card and our network daughter card. And again, a big fan of the network daughter card. You can see uh, the way that it's shaped. And when we open this up, that it is a specific carved out slot, which is you know why I like to make sure that we use it. Uh, when we come over here, you're gonna notice we're gonna need to remove riser two in order to have access to our network daughter card. And this is fairly simple. Um, there's two blue screws in the back that you're gonna wanna unhook. You'll even feel the spring come off. Um, if it's too tight, it's just a Phillips head. Uh, most of the time you can do it by hand though. And so we're just going to unscrew these to start. Once that releases, we're able to physically remove riser two, but we're going to need to push our blue clip in right here. And we're just going to lift this uh, straight up. First thing I always like to do uh, with our network daughter card is I take the interface over here and I make sure that it's fully inserted through the slot because if you don't have it fully in there, nothing else will line up properly. So let me show you how I like to do it. So I like to take this, uh, put this all the way in to start and then start coming down almost like a hinge. And when I do, it'll go fully in and then everything will line up over here. And then the two blue dots with the fingers pointing at it, you're gonna push down right there and you will feel the connection go into the motherboard. If you don't, then it's not lined up properly. Um, and when you do, the two screws will kind of actually pop up just slightly and then you screw them down. So it's a really easy install uh, overall. Um, if you're doing this at home for a home lab server, uh, it's it's very simple. It's definitely something that you can do. Um, it's something that I highly recommend again is the network daughter card. So now we'll show you uh, how to do the PCIe card, which is also uh, very, very easy. So uh, the riser that we just removed, what we're gonna need to do is actually remove one of these brackets right here. So we're gonna take our blue piece and lift this up. And then we're gonna take our top bracket out. Looks like I moved the second one, lock that back in. And then once we've taken our top bracket out, it's all about three points of contact. So the uh, tip right here of our uh, PCIe bracket, as well as the two leads on our uh, connector here, all need to line up. So those are your three points of contact that you need to pay attention to. So we're just gonna come right in, get everything lined up properly, and you'll see everything's lined up nice and flush. And then we're just gonna 
push it down and make sure that you don't see any of the gold tips it's fully in there and once that's done we just push our blue plastic piece back down and everything's locked into place we're going to come back over here and we are going to uh, reinstall our riser now when we install our riser the first thing i like to do is on the uh, the metal housing there's a hole right here that goes to a black point over here i actually like to start there line that up and then i kind of make sure that this is all the way back to come down and then once that's set up, it's really easy just to come straight down and just push everything and make sure that it is nice and flush and everything's good to go. Well, hey, if you made it this far, click that like, smash that subscribe. And if you're looking for any custom built servers, Dell, HPE, Supermicro, IBM, Cisco, we do new and we do use and we do a ton of 740 and 740XDs and we'd love the opportunity to earn your data center, your home labs business. Please email us at sales at They've stopped by guys, take care.